morning, good morning guys and a welcome, welcome to the show. We are just getting our day started here in Steinbach. In 100 meters, it's been a right on Highway 52. fairly busy morning here, but hey, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. The reason why I'm saying that is uh, originally I thought I was overweight and uh, I don't know why I was thinking it, but I was heavy on the drives and my trailer was uh, 21 kilometers. all the way slid back and for some odd reason I was thinking I'm overweight. But it wasn't dawning on me that I just needed to slide the trailer axle for more forward and I'd be alright, right? It wasn't dawning on me, so yeah, went over to... Uh, got told by dispatch to go over to Big Freight and scale my load because our scale in the yard is down so uh, finally it uh, dawned on us that uh, yeah I need to try, uh, just try and slide the trailer forward and I'll be alright on the drives right for some odd reason I, I don't know I guess it's Monday morning <laughs> that's all I can think of that's all I can think of Anyways, appreciate you guys tuning in. I know we didn't record a video yesterday, but hey, that's just how it goes sometimes. Some days you do and some days you don't. In the meanwhile, let's get on down the road, guys, and make the best of today's date. I just arrived at the border, or just about to get to the border, I guess I could say. I am actually still two kilometers away. That's over a mile that I'm actually away from actually getting to the booth and you guys see this big lineup over here with trucks that's how slow they are today in uh, getting us across the border today here it is Monday morning so this is how much traffic we get just going up to the border it's insane isn't it this is gonna probably going to take us about half an hour 45 minutes just getting across the border guys it really is and oh, I know the GoPro probably doesn't show it properly but I don't know if you guys can even see that windmill over there that's where the actual border is way down there yet my GPS shows 1.8 kilometers to uh, where the booth is so yeah we got us a good ways a good ways to wait I guess you could say hey that's just how it goes that's what we have to deal with as Canadian truck drivers, guys. For those of you guys that are, uh, you know, American truck drivers and you only stay in the United States of America, you never have to deal with this. But we as a Canadian truck driver, we have to deal with it. We really do. So this is going to take us a good long while before we get across the border. I finally, finally managed to get across the border, guys. It took him about an hour and ten minutes till I finally got across the border. It was a very long line up today, as you guys saw. So it took a good long while, yeah, that's for sure. But hey, now we're finally across. That's hammer down, that's hammer down, that's for sure. At least we got nice sunshine today, right? That's always a bonus. I wonder what they're doing over there. They got quite a smoke show going on. <laughs> yeah, the vehicles must really be working hard today, that's for sure. But we got 928 miles to go until we get to our delivery supposed to be there Wednesday morning so I got a few hours to drive yet today so I should be all right gonna try and drive far enough today to where I can make it there tomorrow night I'm gonna have to look it up later and see uh, if I can park there overnight at the customer if not I'm gonna have to find me a place where I can stay at for the night because it's uh, well it's on a road that I haven't been on in a while, so haven't really, don't really remember exactly what's all out there, right? Well, we'll find out tomorrow, right? As we get closer, I don't even think I've ever been at this particular customer. 
But hey, let's get on down the road. Probably go up to Fargo. Probably gonna have to take my half an hour break there anyways. Probably go in and grab me a bite to eat and continue on cruising along. Since I haven't ate anything so far today, I'm getting uh, a little bit hungry. And it's already 2 o'clock in the afternoon. In all reality, I should be eating something already, but... Oh well, we'll hammer down, get down to Fargo and grab us a bite to eat over there, right? I am now only 19 miles away from getting to uh, Fargo, North Dakota, guys. And that sun is wanting to go down. Are you guys seeing them colors change in that sun there in the bottom? I certainly am. But I do need to take my half an hour break up here in Fargo. Well, I mean, I could go a little bit further, but I am hungry. I'm starving today. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. However, uh, I do need to take a half an hour break regardless on whether I'm hungry or not. I really do. I still have two hours remaining on my clock before I really got to take that half an hour mandatory break, but since I am hungry, I'm going to go to my favorite place up here in Fargo, which is uh, the uh, little gas station there. It's got the uh, Mexican restaurant in there. Yeah, I like going there. I definitely do. And so let's go ahead and get on down there and uh, enjoy ourselves a good supper, I guess I could say by now, since it's already after 4 o'clock. And the sun will go down here probably in the next half hour. I would not be surprised. Since it is uh, getting closer and closer to the shortest day uh, of the year, I guess uh, we don't have much more daylight remaining. Yeah, December 31st is the shortest day uh, of the year, right? So, uh, I guess we're only about a month away and we'll have the shortest day uh, of the year already. I can't believe it. it's that close to Christmas already. But hey, we are in the Christmas spirit now for sure. Oh yeah, I like it. Anyhow, let's get on down there and have us a good supper. I'm going to try and take you guys with me. Hopefully they don't have the music too loud in there today. I know occasionally they have the music fairly loud in there. And when that's the case, I don't usually try to record because I can get a copyright strike on the music that they play, right? But hopefully that's not the case today. And we can show you what we're going to have for supper. We have made it to Fargo. Let's take a look. Are you guys seeing that? It is a beautiful, beautiful sunset over there. Absolutely gorgeous, but I'm going in for having me a good supper, guys. So guys, come with me and see what kind of supper we are going to have tonight. Looks like they're digging something up over here. Not sure what they're digging up, but they got some sort of construction going on up here. Here we are, guys. It is supper time, so let's take a look on what we're having. Oh my goodness, look at that, guys. And luckily they don't have loud music in here today, so we can actually show you guys. Very nice supper, I guarantee you. No, that is a very hot pepper. I guarantee you that is a pretty hot one for me anyways. For some people it may not be so hot, but for me it is. Anyhow, let's get, ha get to having supper before it gets cold, right? Plus I'm super hungry. I have come to the end of my day, and it is actually the next morning already, but... Uh, I had to calm down a little bit first, uh, something terribly happened yesterday evening to me, which is going to be included in today's vlog, but uh, hey, I left uh, on today's vlog, right? <clears throat> I got up here to, I uh, believe it's uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and uh, you know, parked my truck and uh, started walking towards the truck stop, and then this happened yeah this is what happened to me I uh, took my phone out of my pocket was gonna look at something and my phone fell out of my hand <clears throat> face down and I guess a little rock was on the ground and hit it right there 
it's a deep gouge in there no there is nothing i can do with it and because i have a passcode on it like a password it won't even let me unlock it because this side of the screen is not uh, active or it doesn't work and uh, whenever i do try to unlock it it's doing its own thing there it's pressing buttons on its own and i can't even control it i can't even do nothing with it <clears throat> it will automatically try calling people all kinds of weird stuff so nothing i can do about it so uh i guess we're screwed now i guess we have no choice but to get me another phone i guess i could get the screen replaced but that's gonna cost me almost as much as getting a new uh new iphone just under a contract and this phone is three years old already right so because this is the iphone 6s plus so it's a three-year-old model already so uh i guess because it's paid for i i don't know nothing on it i can upgrade at any time i guess i could go to verizon and upgrade to a new phone i guess and just pay a monthly fee and <clears throat> i guess that's what we're going to end up having to do i looked it up here on google got my laptop open over here and uh i looked it up on google there's actually uh a Verizon dealer uh, there's Verizon dealers around here too but they're far away so I was looking uh, to see where I could find one that's close to a truck stop and I managed to find one that's uh, out by Council Bluff I think there is one only about 1.3 miles away from the truck stop so I'm kind of thinking I might just go up there and maybe get me a cab or something go down to the uh verizon dealer and i might just have to get me a new iphone so bummer but hey it is what it is right this is the very first time i've ever broken a screen on a on a phone any kind i've i've never broken a phone before never uh, i've had issues with the power button on the iphone 5 and stuff like that but i've never broken the screen yet this is the very first time i've ever broken the screen so <sighs> bad day for me i guess so if you guys haven't seen me active too much on the internet uh replying to you guys in the last few days i know this is seven days ago but you know that's why because i haven't been able to uh, well i can get on the laptop here but only if i have wi-fi right here i'm here at the flying j here in sioux falls and i have wi-fi up here so uh that's about the only way i can actually do anything so Anyways, it is time to get out of here, guys. I need to uh, hammer down and get to my customers so I can deliver tomorrow morning. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Appreciate you guys watching today's vlog. And we'll see you back here tomorrow, hopefully. Have a great day, everybody. <laughs>